Good morning and happy Tuesday to you, my friends. So if everyone can please stand up and remember that left is green and right is red. And which hand goes over your heart? Right hand facing the flag. And let's begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All righty, my friends, I hope everyone had a wonderful Martin Luther King Day yesterday and that you got some rest. Okay. Next Monday, friends, it will be time for recitation. So we're going to go ahead and do recitation during our morning live session. Okay, really quickly before we do our recitation for this week, it's a short week, there's four days we are learning about insects and parts of an insect. All right, so we know that an insect definitely has a head. Okay. An insect has antennas. They have one, two, three body parts. Okay. This part right here is the thorax and the abdomen, which is the, actually their tummy that we have in the middle. There, uh, an insect's tummy is on the back. So for example, their uh, tummy would be where our bottoms are. Okay. So one way to remember it is head, then you have your thorax, which is right here in the middle, and then abdomen, which is your um, tummy on your bottom. Okay. Insects have one, two, three, four, five, six legs. Okay. They have four on the front part of their body and two on the back part. Most insects have wings, okay? Most of them have wings, and wings come in pairs, okay? Insects have what is called an exoskeleton, and an exoskeleton, it's a protective layer that's on the outside. So if, like, you've ever stepped on an insect and you hear that, like, crunch, that is their exoskeleton that you have a crush, okay? And they have that as a protection for their body, okay? Uh, we know that they have six legs. Insects have what are called compound eyes. And what that means, friends, is that they have anywhere from two to 30,000 different lenses to see out of. What that means is, think about if we were to have a pair of glasses and then another one, like another pair of, like the lens, and another, and another, and another, and another, and another, and another, say all the way up to like maybe 30,000, that's the type of eyes that an insect has. But because they have that many lenses, they can't see, uh, very much. They can't see very many details, okay? They use their antennas. Okay? They use their antennas to smell. We have a nose. Insects use their antennas to smell. And then finally, we also have some insects that they camouflage themselves to protect themselves from predators. Now this here, this is an insect and it almost looks like he is a piece of wood, right? He's in the middle of some, uh, it looks like the bark of a tree, okay? And yeah, so he is um, camouflaged. So insects do that too. So we're gonna learn about insects this week and their body parts. The following week, we are going to learn about butterflies. And friends, 
we have received. Right now, we have some itty bitty caterpillars. We have one, two, and then over here, three, four. There's two of them right there. See that? There's one, two, and then over here, three, four. And then up here, I don't want to turn this upside down too much, but let's see if I can, right there. See it? That's five. So that is our fifth caterpillar. We, uh, every other day, I will show you how our caterpillars are doing. There will come a time where I can't, I can no longer hold this, but we'll learn all about that next week, okay? But this week, we'll keep an eye on them to see how much they grow. Right now, they're super duper little, friends, but you'll see, you'll be amazed of how quickly they grow. They will get super duper huge in no time. I want you to think, just keep that image in your mind of how little they are, okay? All right, guys, so remember, next Monday, we will do our recitation during uh, Math Life. So here we go, Ladybug by Joan Walsh Anglin. A small speckled visitor wearing a crimson cape, brighter than a cherry, smaller than a grape. A polka dotted someone walking on my wall. A black hooded lady in a scarlet shawl. And then don't forget to take your bow. All righty, friends. It is now time for morning meeting. Now, before we do morning meeting, the very, very first thing Mrs. Haro has to do is have to find out who our student of the day will be. So on Friday, uh, sorry, on Thursday, Nope, sorry, I've got my days mixed up, friends, because of being off yesterday. So on Friday, our student of the day was Eleni. So that means that our student of the day today is Jacob. Wow. If Jacob was here, I would say, Jacob, come on down. And the very, very first thing Jacob would do is turn our clock to morning. Jacob would then write his first and last name, but because Jacob isn't here, Mrs. Harrow will write his name for him. So we're going to start with our capital J. Jacob Morales. All right, and then, of course, Mrs. Harrell would give Jacob his student of the day sticker. Then I would give Jacob our pointer and say, young man, you are on. And Jacob would say, this here thing is called a calendar. And this here is called a month. And what month are we in? January. And this here is called the year. And what year are we in? 2021. Now, friends, if yesterday was Monday, then that means that today is Tuesday. But let's just double check, friends. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And how many days are in a week? Seven days in a week. And let's go ahead and do our months of the year, beginning with January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Let's go ahead and count them ordinally. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, 
seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. Excellent. Friends, we have a number day missing. Let's go ahead and count and see what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And let's go ahead and do our A, B, B, C pattern. Hexagon, triangle, triangle, rectangle. Hexagon, triangle, triangle, rectangle. Hexagon, triangle, triangle, rectangle. Hexagon, triangle, triangle, rectangle. Hexagon, triangle, triangle. And what number are we looking for? Mm, the number 19. Perfect. All right, now let's go ahead and help Jacob. Let's help him write, or let's help him spell the letters in the month of January, beginning with capital J, A, Danilian N, Danilian U, Danilian A, oops, my A looks kind of funny, R, and finally, a monkey tail Y, January. And then, of course, we're going to finger space. And what two digits are we going to write? A one and a nine. Followed by, oops, comma, comma number, space. Help me with the digits in the year. Two. Zero, two, one. All right, now let's go ahead and read today's date with Jacob. Today's date is Tuesday, January 19th, two. 2021. Now, friends, if on Friday we were here 96 days, what would today be? Well, what comes after 96? 96. 90. 97. So let's go ahead and draw this out. Let's do this. Bing, bang, boom, lickety split. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, Okay, you're right, yes, I didn't have to jump. You didn't scare me, I was expecting you to say stop. All right, and now let's go ahead and do Mrs. One's 91, two, 93, 94, 95, 96, Mm. Mm. 97. Ah! Okay, I will stop right there. 97. Now let's go ahead and grab Mr. Tens and Mrs. Ones onto our days in school grab. So, really, really quickly, friends, am I adding anything to my 100s column? Nope. How about Mr. Tens column? Well, what is nine plus zero? All right, yes, you are correct, it is nine. What is three plus three equals six kicks? 
plus one more equals seven. So six plus, do it this way, six plus one equals seven. That's a plus one. Or how about one plus six? Seven. Okay, very good. Oh, friends, 97. We are so close to the last to the 100th day of school. But let's go ahead and see if our days in school tag matches our days in school graph. Do we have nine Mr. Tens? Seven Mrs. Ones? So how many days have we been in school? 97. And friends, if we have 97 days left, Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. How many more days before we get to one hundred? Correct. Three more days. All right. It is now time for coin toss. Coin toss. Coin toss. And friends, remember I said that from now on we will start writing tally marks for what is in our coin cup. So as I drop the penny in the cup, Mrs. Hara will write a tally mark. And remember that when we have tally marks and they are bundled by fives, we count them by fives. So watch here, go uh, do this with me. One, two, three, four, tally up five. Okay, so don't forget that. All right, so here we go, friends. Remember, I have to write my tally marks. One, two, three, four, tally up five, six, seven, eight, nine, tally up ten. 11, 12, 13. So looking at our tally marks, we have one, two, two bundles of fives and three extra ones. So let's count by fives here. Five, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 13 cents. We have 13 tally marks. Now let's see if our morning meeting board matches that number. Okay, so here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So absolutely, they all match. Alrighty, friends, it is now time for mystery bag done 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 now make sure that you turn on your morning brain and listen to today's please so alrighty friends so today in my mystery bag i put two green linking cubes in my mystery bag so picture that in your brain okay and I also put seven blue linking cubes in my mystery bag. So picture that in your mind. Now I will take two blue linking cubes out of my bag. I want to know how many blue linking cubes are left in my bag. So listen again. So today, in my mystery bag, I first placed two green linking cubes. I then put seven blue linking cubes. Now I will take two blue linking cubes out of my mystery bag and I want to know how many blue linking cubes are in my bag? So, do I need to worry about the green? 
they are there to just distract us. So we don't need those, all right? So I want you to think about that. Jose, how many blue Lincoln cubes do I have left? Okay, I had seven blue. I took two out. I don't know, Jose says five. Thumbs up if you agree. Oh, I see a lot of thumbs up. But then I see some doing this. Ooh, I don't know. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Was Jose correct? Mm -hmm. Ding, 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 ding. Very, very good. So remember, friends, that was a minus two fact. We had seven, we minus two, and we have five. Great job. We give Jose a round of applause. <laughs> Great job. All righty, friends. Remember today, some of you, I know that on Friday I said Monday, but it's that I forgot that we were off on Monday. Today, some of you are going to count independently. That means by yourself. Counting by fives, and you should already be able to master it. All right, so let's start off with fives. Here we go. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Let's count by tens backwards. 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50. 40, 30, 20, 10, 0. Now let's go forward. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Excellent. Let's go ahead and count by 100s. 0, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. Let's go back. 1,900, 800, 700, 600, 500, 400, 300, 200, 100, 0. Excellent, friends. Let's go ahead and do counting by twos. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And let's go ahead and do our odd numbers. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, one. Excellent, friends. All right. Remember, when we are doing morning meeting, it is so important that you are doing everything that I am doing on my morning meeting board. All of these skills that we're doing daily, they're for a reason. You're going to be tested on them, or they will be part of a math lesson. So make sure that you're always learning with me, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do our, let's do our time. Look here. Our digital clock reads 9 o'clock. Analog clock reads 5 o'clock. The little hand is or small hand is the hour hand, the blue hand, or the long hand is the minute hand. And remember, friends, that when you write o'clock, the 12 has to go past. I mean, the minute hand has to go past the 12, okay? All right, so we need to match 9 o'clock. So tell me when to stop. Ah! Oh, go back? Okay. Right there? Okay, all right. Our hand is facing the 9. Minute hand is facing the 12. Analog clock reads 9 o'clock. Digital clock reads 9 o'clock. Perfect. All right, let's look at today's pattern, my friends. Today's pattern has some numbers. 
but they didn't complete the pattern. So let's see what we're counting by today. 5, 10, 15. <gasps> we're counting by what? Yep, 5. So here we go. 5, 10, 15. Aha, 20. You good job. Go back. 5, 10, 15, 20. 20. Okay, go back. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Excellent, friends. All right. So today in math, friends, we have, remember the other day I had you guys bring in some empty containers of food? Okay, so today we're going, during live session, we're going to go and we're going to sort some items by categories, okay? So like for example, I'll, I'll explain more of that to you on in just a little while, okay? So um, I will see you guys in just a little bit. All right, make sure those of you who need to practice counting by fives, uh, make sure you're ready, okay? All righty, friends, I will see you in a bit. Bye.